Hey guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my gaming channel. In today's video, I have the full quest guide for the world quest, the Narzissen Crew. I don't even know how to say this adventure. So to start the quest, we have to teleport to the waypoint I just did and talk to Ahn. Now the first part of the quest, we are just going to head to the designated location. So just follow along. Okay, so now that we've reached the location, let's just go down here into the door and then we are going to go around the corner and there is going to be a teleport waypoint that we can open up. Okay, so go to the location, you'll get some dialogue. Now we are going to continue on and we are going to help Petit Chu Chow. I don't even know how to pronounce half of these things <laughs> in this update. Okay, so we're going to go into this door and we are just going to fight off these water droplets. And then after that, we're going to be teleported automatically to this place. We're going to hit this gem right here. Now it's going to create a path and you want to use the walls to hide from that water thing at the top that's shooting you. So we're just going to fight off these water animals. You get some more dialogue and now we're going to head straight up. So now we need to clear the bubble formations and there are three of them. So for the first one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head up to that gem up there. So it's going to try and shoot you. Now if you do get hit, it's going to push you back. So you want to try and avoid it because you will never finish the quest if you keep on getting hit. Okay, so I'm just trying to climb up and then once you are up, we're going to hit this gem right here. Now, once we've hit it, it's going to create some um, steps and barriers. Use it to your advantage to hide from the attacks. And then we're going to take out the Hydro Granum. Okay, now we've done that, we're just going to fight the enemies. So once we've defeated it, that is the first part done. All right, so now we are going to the next one. Okay, so next part we're going to climb all the way up this cliff and be careful because the bubbles are going to try and shoot you. So try and take some cover. And then we're going to hit these gems and it's going to reveal some stairs to help you get up to the bubbles. So we're just going to keep hitting and climbing up and then also hiding from the bubble attacks. This thing just kept on glitching when I was doing it as well. Okay, so almost there and it's right there. Take out the Hydro Granum and then we're going to go all the way down. And then we're just going to fight the bubble. Once you have defeated, we are going to do the last one. So to get to the last one, I'm just going to climb up this cliff right here. Now 
you can just kind of use this tower to climb up because it's going to protect you from the attacks. All right, so now that we are kind of high enough, it's going to climb up a little bit more just in case. We're going to go down, glide over, and then quickly grab the hydrogranum. And then we are going to fight the bubble. Once you've defeated it, we are going to have some dialogue and then a luxurious chest will spawn so we can grab that. And that is the end of the first part of the quest. So number two. This part here, we are just going to jump into this bubble and it's going to transport you. It's going to grab a Hydroculus on the way. And then it's going to bring you to the surface and then there is a puzzle that we have to solve. So first off, we're just going to go and grab this teleport waypoint. And now we just have to break the treasure seal of the luxurious chest that's in the middle. The first one's simple, we just have to hit that gem. And then that is going to let the bubble go in to the hoop. So then that seal is done. Now the next one, I'm just going to go and we are going to take the ability of this seal right here. And then we're just going to go out of here. There's a barrier. Now we just have to fight all of the enemies. So there's one right here. So we're just going to fight him. And there's one on this side as well. So once you have defeated them, there will be some more enemies that will appear. So we just have to fight all of them. And once we have defeated them all, the gem will unlock. So we can just attack it once. And then that's going to break the wall. So the bubble can make it through to the hole. So once it's in, that seal is done. Now we're going to go to the last one, which is just behind here. Now we want to go under. So just go underneath to get to that gem. And then once we are under that platform, don't go too far because then you're just going to be transported back into the next room and you have to start again. So yeah, once you get to this room, attack it and then the last seal should be broken. So once we have done that, we can go and grab that chest. All right, so now that we've grabbed it, we can go break the tower seal. So we're just going to dive all the way down and then we have to just glide down so we are at the front of the tower so you have some dialogue and now we can enter the tower once you're inside we just have to fight a bunch of enemies and once you have defeated everyone we are going to have some more dialogue and then we can enter the bubble which is going to transport us to the very top of the tower Once you are at the top, there is a precious chest that has spawned right next to you. So grab that. And then now we are going to enter this mirror thing. So we're going to be warped. And then this is the next part of the quest, Kingdom Through the Looking Glass. Okay, so first thing we are going to do is we're going to go and grab these little, I think they're hydrogranum. And we're going to bring them all to this mechanism right here. Once activated, we can enter this room. Yeah. 
So for the next part, we are just going to continue on, interact with the door to open it, or with the mechanism, sorry, it's going to open a door, and we can interact with this water warp thing as well. So it just brings you to the next location faster. So now we're going to head into this room and there is one enemy in there. We are just going to fight it and once he's defeated, a chest will spawn. So we are just going to pick that chest up and that is going to open up the door. Now we can enter this again and then it's going to transport us to the next room. Now here there is a bubble that's going to try and attack you once again. So just go and hide and then take out the hydrogranum. Once you have done that, there's going to be some dialogue and we are just going to keep continuing on. And then we are going to get to this elevator. So we're going to go on it, activate it and wait for it to go to the top. Once it has reached the top, there is an exquisite chest. So we're going to open that and then head back into this room. So this is where we started. You will have some more dialogue. And then now we are going to do the same thing as we did before. So grab the hydrogranons. And now you'll see that there are two mechanisms just kind of stand in the middle. So it activates both of them. And then we're going to go into the door. <coughs> Now in the middle, we can open up using the green feather and then we're just going to grab that sword that's in the middle and then now we're going to continue on and then activate this mechanism and then we're going to go through once again so it's exactly the same thing as we did before and then eventually you're going to get to this room where you have to fight two monsters this time so defeat them and then once you have done that, a chest will spawn, pick it up, and then that will open a door, continue on into the next room. Now there isn't a bubble here that's going to attack you this time around, so we're just going to keep going and then we're going to warp. Well not warp, just kind of like get transported. Okay, so now we are on the elevator, activate it to go to the top again. And once you've made it to the top, we're going to enter the room again. And then once again, this is exactly the same room you were in before. So you can tell Pym on that. And now we're going to go to the next part. So same thing again, collect the hydro granums. They're all in slightly different spots. But once you've grabbed all of them, we are going to stand in the middle, activate and then head into the gate. I should have used this thing from the start. I don't think I realized it was there for some reason. <laughs> okay, so that's going to transport us into the room with the fountain. Go ahead. And then we are going to move to the right side, interact, and then enter. That's going to take us to another room. And this is where you fight the enemies. So if you see there's one extra enemy, so we're going to defeat all of them. And once you have, there is another chest that will spawn. Precious chest this time, so let's open that up. That opens the door. And then we're going to continue on. All 
Alright, so once again, we are back where we started and we can tell Paimon that. Now, this time around, if you go through the same rooms again, you'll find nothing. So we're going to go and head back. So go backwards, activate the elevator that's going to take you down. And then you'll see in this room, there is a mirror that we can enter. So that's going to warp you. And now what we're going to do is just enter this portal. And then we can pick up this sword that is in the middle. So we're just going to open up this with the same feather we used before pick up the sword you'll get some dialogue and then after that what we're going to do is head back The tile is going to move down, so we're going to go down as well. And just keep going down right to the bottom. And now, once we are down there, we're going to get teleported. And then here, we have to... Well, it says defeat the dragon, so I guess this is a dragon. Once you have defeated him, then we are going to get some more dialogue. And then a chest will appear. So we can go and pick that up. Alright, so this next part here, we are just going to go to all of the marked spots on the map. So we're just going to interact with all of them. So you're going to interact with the book and once you do, you'll be actually teleported to the area that the book is in. And that is the next part of the quest. So now we are going to find An. This next part of the quest is quite slow. We're just going to follow Mary Ann along and then just talk to her. This next part here, Mary Ann wants you to feed the dog. So you will, and then it's actually like a hedgehog. Um, but then after that, you get a bunch of dialogue, then you'll get transported again. Then you get some more cutscenes. And then after that, we are going to be going with the flow. So you don't have to do much of this once again. It's just kind of the current pushing you and you just move up and down.
Once you have reached the end, that is the end of the quest. So it's all finished and there is a luxurious chest right there waiting for you. So that is the end of the quest. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!